So, Jack, there, the county says they believe they will soon meet the requirements for reopening. What are those requirements? So there are uh, approximately 12 points that the governor has laid out, 12 requirements that a region must meet to uh, be eligible for reopening. Uh, County Executive Chris Moss uh, from Chemung is doing a fantastic job taking the lead in coordinating the efforts of our eight county region um, and much more details to come on that. But, uh, you know, all of the data that has been submitted by Stu Ben, um, we check all of the boxes. So, um, again, much more to come from County Executive Moss, but uh, we look to be in, in good shape to meet the governor's, governor's requirements. Oh, great. So we know that the state's reporting on nursing home deaths have not matched the county's reports. Do you have any thoughts on the discrepancy between those numbers? Sure. I, it could be for a number of reasons, um, but the data is so far off. The latest data from the New York State Department of Health shows nine nursing home deaths total in the county. And we know because we accurately, you know, we report this uh, proactively that we have 29 confirmed uh, nursing home related deaths in the county and one presumed uh, COVID death in, in, from a nursing home. So I don't know why the data is that far off. I can see a little bit of a discrepancy, but we uh, keep feeding information to the New York State Department of Health and asking them to update it. But obviously there is some lag in that. All right, thank you so much, Mr. Wheeler for your time today. Thank you.